I want to tell you a quick story about when Uncle Jake was a kid and when Uncle Jake learned some things that were very important to him and that really helped him begin to lead a better life. So there's a lesson to this story. It's like a fable. And so pay attention and see if you can learn what the lesson is. So here's a story from Uncle Jake. When I was a little kid, I was running in a race. It was a pretty long race for kids. My dad had taken me to another town to run the race because I liked running. The race was about four miles long. Adults and kids were both running at the same time, so it was kind of crowded, and it was hard to even see with all the people around. It was the biggest race I had ever been in. As soon as it started, I ran really hard, as hard as I could, and it seemed like I was winning the race. At least it seemed like I was winning for all the kids that were in the race. But I didn't look back. I kept looking ahead and focused on winning. I didn't look back at all because I knew that looking back slows you down. I just ran and ran and ran and I was really, really tired, but I kept running as hard as I could. Even when I felt tired, I kept pushing. And finally, I got towards the end of the race And I started to recognize where the finish line was going to be. And I turned the last corner and saw the finish line and I headed for it. And once I had turned the corner and I started getting closer to the finish line, the crowd started to cheer. They started to cheer loud. They must be cheering for me, I thought. I must be winning. I am going to win this race. I will be the champion, I thought to myself as I picked up my pace. The closer I got to the finish line, the louder everyone got. They were screaming and cheering, and I was running so hard I was looking straight ahead, just bounding towards the finish line. Then they were screaming, and it was like I was famous. And finally, I sprinted across that finish line and I was so proud of what I had done. And I slowed down and then I came to a stop and then I looked up to see all of my adoring fans. But they weren't looking at me. They were looking at someone else and they kept cheering and now they were cheering even louder and i could suddenly tell that they hadn't been cheering for me at all and i looked behind me to see what they were cheering at and then i saw what they were cheering at i saw a father who was pushing his daughter in a wheelchair and she must have had a very bad disease because she couldn't really even hold her head up. But as our dad pushed her and the crowd cheered loud, she did her best to wave to the crowd and she smiled and waved and her dad pushed her across the finish line. He looked very tired and she looked very happy. And I, I felt embarrassed. I felt embarrassed because I'd been so proud of myself, thinking I had done such a great thing, not knowing that there was someone right behind me that was doing something even better, something even harder, something that took more courage than what I had done. And I went over to the girl and her father, and I smiled, and I said, nice job on the race. And her mouth moved and it looked like she was trying to say thank you because I don't think she could talk. But the dad said, thank you, young man. You ran a good race too. Thanks, sir, I said. Then he pushed her away to get some water. And I realized two very important lessons. 
the first one is that even when I'm doing something very challenging there's always someone that is doing something even more challenging and more important than that I realize that the world doesn't revolve around me I thought everyone was cheering for me and that made me feel good I thought I was the center of the world but that is seldom the case there's a big world out there and I'm only part of it and I needed to stay humble and think about other people and not only of myself